Today on Chain Your Talent, we're going to talk about speaking and announcing from your diaphragm. How important is that? You're saying, well, what are you even talking about, Brad? Well, you can speak from your throat only, or you can speak from your diaphragm and bring it up. And you know who does that the best? Singers. Singers are known for that. Now, we've talked about it in vocal health. We've talked about it in speaking techniques one and speaking techniques two. We've touched on it a little bit, but how do you do it? And I told you the story about when I came out to a major event when I just started announcing and I was supposed to do four days of announcing and blew out my voice the first day and had to limp my way with barely a voice for the remaining three days, right? And that was the beginning of my career and I knew at that point I needed to change things and that's what I did. I started studying books. I started figuring out what am I doing wrong to lose my voice after one day and some announcers are keeping their voice all the time. But let me tell you something right now. I could work a 15 day in a row, announce six to eight hours all day long, and I will not lose my voice. Why will I not lose my voice? Well, you know what it's called? Speaking from your diaphragm, just like a singer, okay? So here's a couple ways to try and do that. First off, you start with a hum. Okay, now if you're humming just from your throat, you can do it like this. Hmm. Now that's all throat. I'm not bringing that hum from my diaphragm. But if I bring that hum from my diaphragm, ready? See the difference in that? Without the diaphragm? Diaphragm. That's the two difference right there. If you can channel it and learn how to do it from your diaphragm when announcing, you'll have success and you'll be able to announce multiple days and not worrying about losing your voice. Also, pacing is pretty important too. So you gotta wanna pace it. You don't wanna turn on the mic for the first time and turn it up to 11 and just start shouting and going crazy. Yeah, you'll lose your voice. I look at it this way. You build the momentum throughout the whole announcing job. And if you're announcing for four days, you don't wanna come out day number one and blow it out. But one of the best things you can learn, and I, and I work with announcers. I worked with announcers who've been announcing for over 10 years and you know what? they still blow out their voice, right? They still blow out their voice after all these years. Why? Because they're not talking and speaking and announcing from the diaphragm. They're coming straight out of throat. So you try it with me again. Throat, hmm, diaphragm, hmm. Now let's try it. Throat, hello, diaphragm, hello. Do you see what I'm doing? Throat, hello, diaphragm, hello. You bring it up from the diaphragm. It is so important. And if you really want to have success when you're announcing, which of course you do, right? Well, then you have to follow those tips and try it just the way I taught you. I'm telling you, it works. It's given me over two decades of announcing work ever since that first time I lost my voice and I went out there and learned. And look, I'm teaching you, okay? Good way to practice it. Practice in the mirror and practice delivering from your diaphragm and you'll be able to announce five days, 10 days, 15 days in a row, you can do it. And that is Tame Your Talent, speaking and announcing from your diaphragm.